we're at North Trail RV in Fort Myers. We want to pop in and check out what they have. We also received some requests from our YouTube viewers. So we're going to hop in and have Joe do a walkthrough of a few super seats. This is the Dynamax Force 37. Uh, very similar in layout to the Jayco we just went through. So let's go inside and take a look around. So I figured we'd start in the front first. Uh, one big noticeable difference is that the driver's compartment is actually level with the rest of the coach. This is going to make it a lot easier to get in and out of the driver's seat. So the layout in here is almost exactly the same as the Jayco. The big difference I see, there isn't an actual gear shift lever, it's all button operated. Um, but the seats are much nicer, uh, a lot more cushion. Uh, yeah, I could go for a long time in one of these, but everything else is essentially the same. One really cool feature, it's got a CB radio. Breaker, breaker. So there is a bed up here. This is actually much larger than the Jayco, and it feels, there's a board that goes across, it feels a lot, a lot more sturdy. And it's really heavy. Flip out TV. Cabinet for storage. You have your control panel. Uh, this controls the swing out of the TV. You also have the water heater, water pump, uh, tank heaters in case you're in a cold climate, generator start, and this also has the 1800 watt pure sign inverter. Another AC control for the front compartment. There is an entry control panel as well. It controls the awnings. There are awning lights, those are always nice. Your steps, your battery disconnect, and there's an entry light right above, so when you come in, it's not gonna be dark and you don't have to go fumbling around for a switch. Uh, the compartment lights down below, as well as porch lights, and you can turn on the hall light to the bedroom. You know, I do like the kind of single chairs that recline back. Uh, this couch is nice, but I feel like I would have to share it with somebody. It's a love seat, and sometimes, I don't feel like loving. Directly opposite, we have the main couch. This does have a pull-out bed in it. Um, it's much softer than the other couches, and I feel like I'm sitting back. I don't feel like I'm sitting up, but reclined back in this uh, couch. Not too sure how comfortable this would be long-term, but it's nicely put together. Again, big windows on either side. Got the MCD shades. Uh, I'm not a fan of this dinette. Um, I'm fairly tall and already it's coming up to my, or the table is coming up to my chest. So I was playing around with the table and found that I can adjust the height. So now this is perfect. I'm much happier with this dinette. And that's another thing. When you're in the RV, you play around with everything because like this didn't fit me at first. But now I've found that I can bring it down and it's at the perfect level. Uh, we always suggest before you buy an RV to come and live in it for a while. Spend half hour, hour, pretend like you're eating a meal, making food, and see how everything fits you. This dinette also has the storage underneath. This area will convert into a bed. This comes down. Ooh. Residential refrigerator. That's big. Very nice convection oven slash microwave. A lot of storage up here. More storage. There's a double sink. I'm not too fond of this layout right now. If you're cooking in the kitchen, you're gonna only be able to really have one of these up while you're cooking because this is the only prep area you have. Um, you know, whenever Whenever we're at home in the RV, that's what we end up doing because we don't have a lot of space. And you're also, the only place you really have to put stuff is back behind the sink, like a coffee maker, coffee grinder. One nice thing about this kitchen setup is you have an outlet down here as well as one up here. So you have options. There is a three burner gas stove. Lots of drawer space. Big area underneath the sink. 
Uh, this is nice because you can fit a like a garbage can or something, get that stuff out of the way. More access to that space. There is a pantry alongside the fridge with a locking mechanism. That means when you're driving around, if you have heavy stuff in here, it's not going to slide out on you. Ours do. Unlock. This comes out. It's nice. There's not a ton of room, um, but they do adjust. You can bring them up and down for tall or short things. This actually looks like it would be perfect to hold a couple bottles of wine. And it's steel, so it's going to be strong enough. Okay, coming into the bathroom. There's a good amount of room in here. Solid sink, lots of storage, nice big mirror, I go into the shower. So I have a little bit more room in the shower, uh, I'm still bumping my elbows, it's a little short, it's not ideal for me, so I'd say that's, a, that's something I don't like in the Super C so far. So there's plenty of room in here, there's an outlet back here. There isn't any storage up here. I'd like, you know, to have another storage bin. Uh, there is a max air vent in the bathroom. There are drawers, small drawers here. Might be a little hard to get to. And then there is a little bit of storage underneath here. So could definitely use some more storage in the bathroom. This is also the bunk model. Bunk beds, there's a small TV in the back, windows, top and bottom, little storage underneath. And this is another space you could turn into an office if you didn't want the bunk beds. Now in the bedroom, really nice king size bed. There is storage underneath here, but it looks like the water tank is under the bed. Uh, so you lose a lot of storage underneath here. It's also not finished the way the Jayco was. One cool feature. Ba -ba. Washer, dryer. Or actually, washer, dryer. Uh, we didn't want one of these when we bought a coach, but now that we've been living in one for a while, this would be kind of nice, especially when you have so much other storage room. There is a big closet. Really nice deep drawers. These go all the way across. The TV is larger in this bedroom. And there is a nice sound bar system you have underneath here. So the sound is going to be nice in the bedroom. Usually it's only coming from the TV. There are outlets down in this corner as well as next to the bed. So both people have an outlet. There are reading lights underneath. And there is a giant cabinet back here that goes all the way through. There is a control for the AC unit back here. So again, you have dual climate zones. Uh, the same issue we had with the other coach, which is there's only the exit window in the back. There are no other windows in here to get a lot of ventilation. And again, it doesn't have a screen. So if there are a lot of bugs and you try to open it, it's not going to be a good thing. So in the bedroom, Again, a very solid privacy door between the bunk area and the bedroom. Snap shut. And you have the same thing to block off the living room in the area back here. Privacy for the bathroom, the kids on the bunk. Let's bring the slides in and see what this looks like all closed up. <laughs> So the slides are in. One thing I did notice is since the control panel is back here, it's a little bit hard to get to. I prefer to have it in more of an open area. All right, so let's bring the bedroom slide in. Ready? Oh man, Kate almost got locked into the bedroom. It's kind of tight here. And if I put on a few extra pounds, I'm not getting into the bedroom. That's one thing to consider. I mean, I'm not skinny, but at the same time, that's really tight. I would say you have about eight, nine inches in here to get through. Uh, you can lay on the bed just fine, but you have to get there first. There is access to the bathroom, so that's good. And there's plenty of room up front to get to the refrigerator, to walk around. I mean, worst case, if you didn't have kids, you could always use those bunks if you couldn't get into the back bedroom. 
But again, that's something that I would really think twice about if I can't comfortably get into the bedroom when using the coach. This Dynamax is also built on the Freightliner chassis, and I just learned that it's built by Forest River, and it's $273,000. So this coach has four batteries. These are actually AGM batteries, so much nicer than those other wet cells. And it's on a tray that'll slide back and forth. My favorite thing is there's enough room on here where you can easily upgrade another two batteries if you wanted to. Under here is an 1800 watt pure side inverter. Nice storage bay. 8000 watt Onan diesel generator. This is a really nice wet bay. There's a water purifier here. Um, very nice connections. I do like that the they have an outdoor hose. Plug that in here and I'm sure there are other accessories you can get with this. There's a very small sewer hose holder here. Um, I would either get a bigger one or change this out for like a paper towel holder or something, but it's still nice to have. So again, one of our favorite features is this automatic winding uh, cable. That just makes things so nice and keeps it out of the way. This has a 20 gallon propane tank. It's bigger because there's the gas stove, not the induction cooktop on this model. Coming around the back, this is a 20,000 pound tow hitch. Up top, there is a rear view camera. However, there is not a ladder for this coach. So like any of the Super C's, there is a ton of storage underneath here. This one is almost a pass-through. This one is a pass-through. There's a ton of room in here. It's almost like the further I go, the bigger they get. More storage, but there's a cool accessory here. They give you a tire pump. So all diesels have air compressors. You hook this up to the air compressor and then you can fill up your tires. And another pass-through. Under here, huge storage right up front. So this is also built on the Freightliner chassis with the 340 horsepower Cummings diesel engine. I don't see what the carrying capacity is on this one. It is the same uh, gross vehicle weight rating as the Jayco. Uh, but one thing we saw, there's actually an outlet over here. And that's very handy whenever you're looking to plug something in, especially a work light if you have to work on the engine or check something. Again, the whole front hood comes up Everything is very accessible, and one of the big selling points, again, for me, on these front engine diesels. The gas tank, there are two gas tanks on either side, and you can fill them from either side, so that's really helpful. So this is the Dynamax Force HD. Really cool coach. They've got a lot of nice, high-quality features in here. The price is higher than the Jayco. There are some fixtures in that that look to be a bit upper end. They've done a lot with the driver's compartment and making sure that the rest of the living area is level with that. Our big complaint on this model would be it's almost, it's not impossible, but it's gonna be very difficult to get into the bedroom when those slides are closed. So that would be a big strike for us. We're gonna go check out one other one I think we're really gonna love.